This past weekend, Auburn hosted number four, Tennessee, at Plainsman Park for a heartbreaking series for the Tigers. Coming off of a midweek win, the Tigers tested their offense against the Vols' hot hitters, Christian Moore and Caveras Tears. The first game of the series showcased a strong defense from the Tigers, with Carson Myers and John Armstrong on the mound. This bullpen duo had 7.2 scoreless innings for the Vols. Coach Butch Thompson stated that he was excited to only use three pitchers in the first game against a really strong team. Armstrong put up an impressive four innings with only one hit, one walk, and accounted for six of the 13 strikeouts from the Tigers. Myers was able to score his second win of the season, marking his first in the Southeastern Conference. The Vols used four arms against the Tigers, with A.J. Cossey letting up eight runs on the mound. The Tennessee defense still totaled 11 strikeouts over 6.2 innings. The Tigers and Vols allowed the same amount of walks, but Auburn batters were able to score nine earned runs compared to the Vols' five. The Tiger defense featured a record-breaking home run from Ballou at 461 feet. This marks the longest homer by an Auburn player since 2011 at Plainsman Park. Ike Irish set the pace with a home run within the first inning. Hits from McMurray and Pierce allowed an exciting lead over the Vols in the first two innings. The energy in Plainsman was unmatched with another crowd record. With Auburn in the lead, Tennessee hitters were able to score a two-run homer, but remained scoreless after the second inning. Infielder Christian Moore accounts for two of the Vols' runs. Closing out the first game with a win over the Tennessee Vols, Coach Butch Thompson is thankful for a chance to win a series. Coming into Game 2 off of the game, the Tigers are ready to continue the pace set on Friday, but the Tennessee offense showed up and showed out. With a scoreless first inning, the Vols quickly racked up five runs in the second. First baseman Blake Burke became a career run leader for the Vols with a solo home run for his 41st career home run. Christian Moore set the stage at Friday's game and made his presence known during Game 2 with a Tennessee program record of hitting eight grand slams in one season. With five home runs by the sixth inning, the Auburn defense was struggling to stop scores. Chase Alsup stayed on the mound for 4.2 innings, allowing seven hits and four runs. The Tigers remained scoreless until the seventh inning, but it was not enough. The Vols had already earned 12 runs compared to the Tigers' two, ending the game with a run roll Tennessee victory and a series tie. Within the first inning, Auburn had hoped to secure a series win over the Vols with a three-run lead. McMurray earned his 12th homer of the season, picking up the Auburn offense pace. The Tigers would only score two more runs by the seventh inning. Auburn defense saw six pitchers in seven innings as Tennessee hitters put up a fight. Auburn averaged around one inning per pitcher with a total of seven strikeouts and 16 total hits. Catcher Cal Stark gave Auburn a run for their money. With four runs and a career best, he had three at-bats with three hits and two being home runs. The Tennessee Foles earned their first road victory score against Auburn since 2005 with a final of 19-5 with a back-to-back -back run rule. The Tigers now have a conference overall of two wins and ten losses. I'm Maddie with Eagle Eye TV.